fellow Android fans, Samsung Galaxy fans, and Tasker fans alike. This video is really for the Samsung Galaxy folks out there, owners of the S8, S9, S10. Basically any Samsung Galaxy phone that has the Bixby button right there on the left hand side. Uh, recently Samsung, after people have been begging for it for years, they opened up that button uh, with an update so that now you can have it besides open Bixby, you can have it launch any app on your phone as well as run a quick command. But uh, I've read a lot of articles this week that were saying it's too bad you can't use that button to launch the Google Assistant or Alexa, the assistant of your choice, or do a bunch of other stuff. And you know what? You can. When I press my Bixby button, what's the weather like today? You see? Google Assistant opens for me and uh, opens ready to listen. You could also have it open Alexa or you could have it do a bunch of other cool stuff as well. And I'm going to show you how. Uh, it's really fairly simple uh, if you have the right apps to know how to do it. So we're going to start by going over to the Play Store so that I can show you the apps you need to do this. And uh, Tasker is the app you're going to look for. Tasker is a paid app. It is well worth its weight in gold, so you should buy it. Uh, even if you're only, even if you only use it for this one thing, it's worth it. So buy it. You need Tasker. Tasker App Factory. Uh, I believe that's a free add-on for Tasker, so get that as well. You have to have that in order for this to work. And then there's a bunch of plugins and things you can use to do all kinds of crazy stuff with Tasker, but the one you're going to see me use today, and you will need this if you want to launch Alexa, is Auto Shortcut. Uh, that is a paid plugin, I believe, but it's I think it's really cheap, so uh, get that if you want to launch Alexa or do some of the other cool stuff you'll see me do today. Those are the three things that you need in order to do this, and uh, we're going to go right into Tasker. Now, I have a whole Tasker tutorial series. If you want to learn how to use Tasker, it allows you to automate stuff on your phone and do all kinds of cool and crazy stuff. That's beyond the scope of this video. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to remap that Bixby key to launch Google Assistant or Alexa or do something else. So, uh, when you first open it, you won't have all the tabs that I have. You'll just have the Home tab. But you need a new tab in order to uh, do what we're going to do. So, you long press any existing tab and you get the add button and you click it and then name your new tab I've already done that and mine is right here and uh, in that new tab there's not going to be anything there at first and it'll just be named but if you long press it it allows you to rename it or to set an icon and you have to set an icon in order to do what we're going to do so make sure you do that uh, when you press that you, there are built-in icons you can choose from. Um, as you can see, the one I chose is just one of the generic built-in ones. So you don't have to worry about getting that outside of this. And also, as far as the renaming goes, that's important. Whatever you name this tab, that's going to be the name of the app you're going to create. So make sure you name it uh, appropriately. So, uh, profiles you won't be using for this. You'll just be using task. And you're going to have one task, and that's it. And this I call Launch Assist. And then within this task, you can have bunches of different actions that you take. And you can see with mine, I only have one action, and that's Launch the App Assistant. Now, just real quick, if we go into the uh, Bixby uh, uh, settings, which is Advanced Features, and then Bixby Key, you can see I have mine set to double press open Bixby, single press to open an app. Now, if you press that, and you hit settings, it allows you to choose an app. There is no Google Assistant app to choose. That's why you can't use it to launch Google Assistant. And that's why we need to do it the way that we're doing it uh, in Tasker. So going back to Tasker, uh, in Tasker, I'm going to just go ahead and delete this so we can start from scratch and you can see how I do this. You click the plus button to add an action to the task. And I'm going to choose app and then launch app. Now, Assistant, you can see right away, is one of the choices inside of Tasker. Why is that? It's because Tasker doesn't just look at official apps that are in your app drawer. It looks at all the apps that are part of your phone, even if they're built into the system or anything like that. So uh, you just click App, you click Assistant, and uh, that's it. You're good to go. It'll launch Assistant. You click the back key to go back here. If you want to test your uh, actions, you can press the Play button. 
and you'll see it works and it watches. Now you see for this, we did not use that auto shortcut plug-in. If this is all you want to do, you don't need to buy the auto shortcut plug-in. You only need to buy that if you want to do other stuff because um, with Assistant, you can just launch it that way. And that's it. All we want to do is we want to launch Assistant. So we're done. We can click the back button to say we're done. You can click the check mark to make sure it all gets applied right. And now that's it, you're ready to go. We're gonna long press this tab. Remember, you have to have set an icon already and you have to have given it the name you want it to have. And then you click export. Now because we have Tasker App Factory installed, as app is an option and you click as app. You give your package a name. Traditionally, instead of .com, you do it the reverse com dot and then the, name, the URL, your URL if you have one or just make something up like I did and then dot and then the name of the package, the name of the uh, app, not the official name that's going to be under the app in your app drawer. This is just a descriptive name. The rest of this you can pretty much ignore because um, it's going to go based on what's on your phone and uh, this would be more advanced if you're going to try to like put this app on other people's phones, uh, which I don't recommend doing. Uh, so we're just going to leave this as it is and then click the little arrow and that tells it you're done. If you have auto install checked, then after it exports, it's going to automatically go into installing this as an app on your phone. And you click the install. You'll probably get a warning from Google Play. Yep, because they're like, hey, this isn't from us. Guess what? We don't care. So you install anyway and then it'll finish. Done. So now it's done. Uh, you can go out of there. And so now, if we go back into the uh, Bixby uh, Advanced Features and Bixby Key, and then we're going to go, what app do we want? We're going to click the uh, settings. And now, when you scroll down, you'll see that app that you just exported is actually an app that's installed on your phone. If we can get to it. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. So there it is right there. Google, I named it Google Est for Google Assistant. And there's the icon. And so we choose that. And you see, that's what's going to launch now. So because we've done that, now uh, anywhere you are on your phone, let's go into some random app so we can be on maps. We can press that Bixby key. And it launches the Google Assistant. So that's how you do Google Assistant. What if you wanted to do Alexa? It's not too different. Uh, oh, I need to go back into Tasker. Uh, I'm going to go back into the uh, task that's in. It's already on. You can see it was already on this tab. Generally, Tasker will be on whatever tab you last used. But if not, make sure you go to this tab or you could create a new one if you wanted to create a new one and start from scratch and name it something different. You could. In fact, let's do that just for the fun of it. So I'm going to long press this, I'm going to click add, and I'm going to say Alexa Assist. Alright, so now I've created a new one. It doesn't have an icon and it needs one, so I'm going to long press, set icon. Uh, I'm going to choose material, and let's see, pick some random icon. We'll just do the Android bug. And again, make sure you're in tasks. There's profiles, tasks, scenes, bars. You're not going to use any of that. You're just going to use task. Plus, you name the task. I'm going to name it Alexa. And now these are your actions, but we're only going to have one action. I'm going to click the plus button. This is where the auto shortcut comes in. I'm going to go to plugin and I'm going to use auto shortcut pro. And I don't know if you have to have the pro version. The, the basic version is free, and then pro is the paid version. You might be able to do this with just the free version. You can try it. Um, I can't remember what the limitations are on the free version. But I have pro, so I'm going to click pro. And then you go into configuration. This is what allows you to choose a shortcut. Now, if you're not familiar with Android shortcuts, mostly if you're on a home screen and you long press, you can have an option to add a widget or a shortcut. And shortcuts gives you all kinds of cool things, things like... Uh, quick call, quick dial, uh, go to a contact, um, and apps can build in shortcuts. So for example, Samsung SmartThings, you could put one of their routines in there to do a SmartThings with your smart home. 
Depending on what apps you have, apps build in shortcuts. And I'm going to show you how this can open up some other things later. But for right now, um, you probably saw already, there's the Amazon Alexa. And that is, that doesn't open the Alexa app. This opens Alexa to listen to you. So I'm going to choose that. And then uh, you can uh, change the label and stuff. You don't really need to do any of that. So we're just going to click OK. And then we're going to go back. And we're going to test it by hitting the play button. You'll see it opens up Alexa. So it works. So now we're going to uh, click back. I'm going to click the check mark. You can see everything's applied. So now I'm going to long press export as app. Now this one I have to name because I haven't done this one before. It's my first time. So I'm going to do com dot whatevs, except I misspelled it, but I don't care, and then uh, Alexa launch. Now remember this is all just kind of in the background. Uh, it's not going to be part of the actual app name in the app drawer. That's going to be based on what I named the tab. Again, I'm going to ignore the, re ignore the rest of this because it's not important to me. It's exporting and I have it set to auto install. Click install. Google warns me. I say install anyway. It's done. So now we can go back into settings and go to advanced features and go to the Bixby key and use single press to open an app. Click the settings button. And there it is right there, Alexa Assist. I want it to open that. So now we're going to go out of there. And now, anywhere I am on my phone, I can press that Bixby button. What time is it, Alexa? And you see, it launches Alexa. I think because I have my notification thing on, that's why it's not actually talking. Let's let's try it with uh, let's be in here and then press it. Alexa, what time is it? It's eleven a.m. So there you go. It works. Uh, with so now you can use that Bixby button to launch Alexa or Google Assistant using Task Graph Factory. Now there's other cool things you can do with that as well. Uh, just to show you really quick. Um, a, go into Tasker. Now I'm not going to do something new, I'm just going to write over what I already have. So uh, we're in this already. So this is my uh, task. So instead of opening Alexa, I'm going to long press and I'm going to cut that. I'm going to do a new action. I'm going to say plug in. I'm going to say uh, pop up widget. That's an app I have on my phone. And I'm going to choose that I want my uh, calendar. Uh, the pop-up widget is an uh, app that allows you to pop up widgets on your screen. And so I have two widgets to, from my calendar app that I use. And uh, so I'm going to say that's what I want to do. And uh, that's it. And so now I'm going to long press. I'm going to export as app, everything else is going to stay the same. Because I didn't rename this, it's just going to write over the app that's already there as if it's like an update to the app. And once that is done, I don't have to go back in and re-choose the app with uh, um, Bixby because it's the same app. I just basically updated the app. So now when I quick press, it's going to launch or when I press the, oh, oh, there we go. So now when I click the Bixby key, it's going to trigger my calendar widgets. So anywhere I am on my phone, I want quick access to my calendar. Um, oop, I didn't do it right. I press that key, and those widgets are going to pop up with my calendar. So you see there's all kinds of stuff you can do. Just to kind of show you one other thing um, really quickly, because I didn't really demo this is uh, you could have it do multiple things. So uh, 
For example, um, let's get rid of that. Let's say you, there's several actions you wanted to do. So you're going to bed at night, um, you want audio, uh, and you want to change the alarm volume to, to full, and then you add another task, audio, you want to change the ringer volume to, yeah, to low, we'll leave it there. Um, audio, uh, media volume, down, uh, audio, uh, what other is notification volume, where's ch -ch 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 notification volume, it's already low, that's what I want it to be. Um, Audio, do not disturb. I want to turn that to priority, which means only priority things can get through. Uh, what else do I want to do? Display, I want to dim the display. So let's go auto brightness set off. And then display brightness. I want it to get really dim because this is for night, so I want it to be. Um, and then uh, app, um, launch app, and I want it to launch the uh, clock app that I use to set my alarms. So let's go clock. So this is something that say I use this every night. This probably isn't a good use of the Bixby button because you only use it at night once a day. But this is just an example of how you can have this do all different kinds of things. And you can see there's so many different uh, things that you can do inside a Tasker. And like I said, you can watch my Tasker tutorial series if you want to get familiar with all the different amazing things you can do. So now that that's done, I'm going to long press this and export it again as app. And basically just overwrite the app that already exists. Gonna now because this has a new permission, uh, why? Because this is asking, uh, it's asking now to be able to modify settings. So it's asking me if that's okay, and I'm okay with that. So install, install anyway, and it's done. We shouldn't have to remap anything um, if I press this. It should lower all my volumes and my brightness and then uh, launch the app. See if it works. Ah, here we go. So I'm getting this error. Alexa needs the following permissions. So we have to give it this access. So I'm giving it this access. That's why it wasn't working. So look for that little error message. Now it should work. There you go. You can see it changed all my volume levels. It dimmed my phone, turned auto brightness off, turned the level down, and then uh, opened right into the uh, alarm clock app. So one thing to look for, obviously, when you're doing this is uh, when you run it for the first time because it is like an app. So it needs the same permissions that any app needs. If you see an error, look for an error message up here to give it any permissions it may need in order to operate correctly. But you see, uh, using Tasker, Tasker App Factory, uh, as well as uh, Auto Shortcut for Alexa, you can use that Bixby key to launch Google Assistant. You can use it to launch Alexa to listen to you and give commands, or you can use it to do all kinds of crazy things uh, with Tasker. So anyway, that's how you do it. You can now remap the Bixby button and use it to do anything you want to do. That's it for this video. I hope you liked this video. Please share it with everyone you know. Uh, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Favorite this playlist. And uh, keep up with other stuff. And again, if you want to get more into Tasker, check out my Tasker tutorial playlist. That's going to be it until next time. So, have a great day. Mm -hmm.